Alright, what's going on guys? All Pro Venom here. I know I have been absent of YouTube for about a week now. I have been sick as well as school has just taken over completely. I'm sorry for that. But nonetheless, we are back with this amazing game known as Forza Horizon 2. I have cannot have been telling you guys how long I've been waiting for this game. It is amazing, phenomenal. Anything I could say, it's just there's no words. Literally, I can't have enough. This game is so fun. The graphics are so much better than any other Forza game I've ever played. And especially on the Xbox One, this is my first Xbox One gameplay that I've ever recorded, and that could not be better in my opinion. Now, for the first car build that I'm going to be doing in Forza 5, or sorry, Forza Horizon 2, is going to be a uh, Corvette Sting C7 Stingray. Now, mainly because this uh, car has only been in one other game, and that is Forza 5, and I never really played Forza 5, as you guys have seen, because I've never uploaded any videos on it, but uh, also because I just love the look of the new Corvette, and I think it's been amazing um, just to drive it around. I've actually driven one in real life, and I would just love to do a build in Forza, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, I do not have an actual live commentary for you guys. This is a pre-recorded gameplay, so I'm not going to be doing a play-by-play -play or step-by-step -step, uh, build with my voice. I'm just going to go ahead and let the music roll and let you guys see. The immense customization options that Forza Horizon 2 has given you guys. It is crazy. I love the new garage setup. It's got the paint and the garage in one area. As you can see, it says paint cars as well as upgrades. There are so many more wheel options and brakes and engine swaps and everything like that. Overall, this game has gotten like a 10 out of 10 for me so far. I just got it today, but this video will probably be going up Wednesday or Thursday. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, depending on my schedule, but either way, this game is so fun. I love it. If you guys ever want to play with me, hit me up on All Preventum on Xbox Live, Xbox One, because I did not get this for the 360 yet. No, I know I'm talking extremely fast, but I just love this game so much. The wheels, everything like that, all the customization options are just phenomenal. So either way, guys, I'm going to go ahead and catch back with you when I'm doing the driving test. And that's just another animal in itself. That's it's so much fun to do that because you can go off-road and everything like that. So I'll give you a quick uh, run-through of what I'm going to customize here. And then I'll see you guys when I do the test drive. Alright guys, we are back. We're going to do a test drive of the new Corvette C7 Stingray that I have been customizing in the past 5 or 6 minutes or so. Now this car is also one of, I haven't really driven that many cars in Horizon as you can see I just got the game today. But so far out of the 4 that I have in my garage, this is the best drifter out there. I have not bought any of the classic ones except for the Supra, but that one is built for speed right now. It does not, it's like got like a thousand horsepower or something like that. But this car, just mainly the overall handling and everything like that, is just so much fun to drift. I love the mechanics of this game. For drifting, it's just so smooth and elegant and everything like that. It's so much better than the motorsport games that Forza makes, in my opinion. But those tryhard guys probably like those a lot better. But as you can see, the interior of the cars are just so detailed. It's amazing what they've done in this game. As well as the off-road capability, there are no longer any more barriers that I have found out just yet. But you can see I'm just flying across the field and there's no barriers whatsoever like in Forza Horizon 1. There is nothing to block your path, no fake looking game, stuff like that. You can just drive wherever you want, as well as your car will change depending on where you go. So if you hit a dirt path or if you go down an off-road like that, you'll get dirt. All of your wheels and your paint on your sides, your car will get all dirty and stuff like that. Just realistic stuff, as well as the weather in this game. As you can see, the stars up there, it's just crazy. The detail they put into this game is amazing. Obviously, when it rains, it does get slicker on the roads, and that just adds a lot more fun to it as well as the detail on the cars when the rain beads droplets drop on the cars and everything like that. But thanks for watching, guys. If you have enjoyed, feel free to leave a like, as well as subscribe if you guys want any more of this amazing Forza Horizon 2 content. 
as well as I believe on Thursday a GTA 5 1.17 DLC will come out. I think this is when this video is going to be going up so it should already be out by then but by that time I should have some gameplay for you guys and it's going to be in uh, so I think three cars or two car one car and two bikes as well as a uh, machine gun or a, a SMG or something like that and uh, some other awesome stuff so stay tuned for that. Now I'm probably not going to be posting a ton of GTA from now on but hopefully if you guys can stay with it you'll have a lot of fun so thanks for watching guys like I said earlier. If you did enjoy this video, feel free to leave a like as well as comment down below whatever you want me to do next for Forza Horizon, any car builds that you want me to do, or if you want to meet up online or something like that. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. It's been all Preventum, and I'll see you in the next one.